guys is, uh, I heard this place is really good. Yeah, look, they already got a set of offers. Yeah. Well, I share some gold, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of empty, you know what I'm saying? You did tell them it's three guys, and not a date. Uh, it's not a love guy, guy too. God. Uh, uh, romantic and upsetting, and, uh, do you have any service? Yeah. 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 Uh, hello? Any service here? I mean, come on, like, we want to celebrate, you know, the France just won the World Cup, so... Is this even the French flag? This looks like it could be the... Is it? The Netherlands, yeah. Isn't that the... Bro, this what cafe kind of, is... Isn't that a French thing? restaurant? Oh, they, 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 they just turned it. They just turned it and tried to fool us. What did you take? Well, what's this place called, anyway? Uh, hey, uh, is that a weird? Later. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Hi, how are you doing, guys? How's your evening? What the fuck? What is this? Yeah, what else? This is um, the finest restaurant in the world of France. Um, what's the name of it? Café Café. I'll write back to you. Okay. Alright, thanks. Well, what do you guys want? Do you want? <laughs> what kind of restaurant is this? Can we just ask whatever we want? I will, we'll ask them how it gets here. Um, I'm sure they have like, probably like uh, caviar, maybe like some like crazy like fish from France or something. I don't know. Could have given us a lunch face. Could have given us some cream. I mean, I am kind of foreign this time. I do want some wine. Have some wine. Uh, yeah. Oh, guys, you want some wine? Yeah, please. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my first day. The job, guys? Yeah. Uh, how long have you been um, working? Sir, how, how long have you been working? Uh, my first day. <laughs> That's my first day. Oh, what a great year. This is a great start. Okay, you tighten it. Oh, boy. You, I mean, you're just poor, right? <laughs> 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 I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Let me try. Let me try. We'll call the manager, guys. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Uh, I'm underwhelmed by the by this restaurant and I'm sorry guys, I thought it was a good place, but Why it, it, it had it had like top star reviews on Wookan Dale. Are you sure? Like, I mean it was by uh it's by Argentina fans. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, who is that for? This is 
horses. <laughs> is this customary in France? Yes, we sit down with our customers. So, Gigi, why are you wearing a very nice shorts? Is my friend gave it to me. Oh, I seem to be doing a river with that or something. Yeah, I like river. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what I'm saying. So, guys, what brings you here to. Well. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back. I'm Mitz fan. Jerry. I am Jose. Jim me pele Eduardo. And uh, we're here. Uh, the, the World Cup uh, final is done. We have a new world champion and it is La France. Le France. Um, it's been a crazy ass World Cup. I think we all can agree. Um, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the final? It's a very good game. I was pretty even in the well. I think that Croatia played better the whole game, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I think they played much better, but their mistakes yeah. cost in the World Cup. You know, the handball mm -hmm. and the, the outer goal, you know. Yeah, I think. And France was, they did it, they were effective, you know. Yeah. You know, they, they their counters were effective, and, you know. And they, they, they deserve to be world champions, you know. It was yeah, it's a, well earned, mm -hmm. you know. Take nothing away from them. Yeah, I think it was uh, the game. Um, like you said, I think Croatia, in a lot of aspects, was the better team. They, um, they definitely persisted. Yeah, they were, they were definitely more they persistent. Had a lot, they had more shots on goal. More, yeah. more they were pressing from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. And they, yeah. They were. Um, it seemed like in, in moments, like they, they, they really wanted it more. But those, uh, that, that handball the, and uh, that, the, the that audible. PK and yeah. then the next goal that came after that came yeah. and just made it much more harder. Yeah. For yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. counters with Mbappe and his speed and, and, they, and they let yeah. Mbappe well, alone. It, it seemed like France, they they were more patient throughout the game. Like they knew yeah. when to yeah. th to control a little bit better, uh, better than, than yeah. Croatia. Definitely. Um, it's almost like they don't want to press the, the issue because they know like... Yeah. They're a better team, and I think they just have more trust in their defense to just sit back yeah. and hit them on yeah. counties. Yeah. Um, also, man, like, well, it, it, it started bad for Croatia because with the, with the auto goal. Mandzukic, yeah. Tango, you know. Which First auto goal in World Cup final history. Is it courtesy, really? Yeah, courtesy of Mandzukic, so. Yeah. Wow. Congrats on such a shitty record. Um, a shitty record yeah. And then Perisic came, and he... He, he brought him back to life, which was, which was an amazing yeah. goal. It was an amazing yeah, goal. Yeah, it was a nice play. But then, he fucks it up. He yeah, ruins it by doing a handball, which I think is one of the stupidest handballs. First bar call in the World yeah. Cup final. Yeah. In a, in a World Cup final like that, <laughs> just like, dude, what are you doing? Like, what are you yeah. doing? You had, you had a feeling too, right, in this final that yeah. you felt that you saw somewhere VAR's going to maybe come out yeah. and come into play, and it did. The final, but not like that. I didn't think it was gonna be like a handball. I thought it was gonna be like a like a like a tackle or something in the box, but it's an unusual like handball. I mean, it looks like mm, it was unintentional, but I mean, you can slightly see that he probably slapped him the side. Yeah, yeah. So it's a tough call, but I mean, yeah. he's an absolute dumbass. Okay. It's just, yeah. I think he's gonna regret yeah, that. The handball be was in there is really difficult to tell. Yeah. Because that handball, I think, really put Croatia in an uphill battle. Yeah. It, it was already pretty hard, but it was even at that point. Yeah. But after that handball. It, it put him on uphill battle, and, and that's where France uh, uh, took advantage of that moment, and, and they... The they, question they is, though, is, like, well, I was looking at the play. I kind of already figured it was, like, a penalty before even the bar decision, but I'm like, why did he have to put his hand out there when there was, like, I think two or three other Croatians around yeah. him? It when it looked like it wasn't that dangerous yeah. of a play, yeah. and Greece, why does this wine yeah. taste... Yeah. Smells so good. But anyway, yeah, I'm like, why, why, why did he? Well, because this <laughs> cheese in French. Oh, yeah, guys, right. help yourself. <laughs> Please. Um, by the way, this is the best we can do here. Uh, is that because I'm a budget? Is it, what is Bimbo? Bimbo at Bimbo. Yes. Bimbo. This actually is made in France. They, well, everything you've seen on TV, they've lied to you. Yeah, yeah. French bread actually is, looks like this. Exactly. Um, yeah. Huh? Do you want bread? No, I'm <laughs> Come on, waiter. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll take a piece of cheese. Yeah, but... um. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it he, he went from villain to, I mean, here to villain, but... Yeah, real quick, too. It was like, what, was it like, what, like, five minutes after, almost? Something like that? Yeah, a little bit. It wasn't, was like, not that, that long. Yeah. Um, and Griezmann came with a penalty, which, you know, killed it. You know, he, he did he did his thing. Um, I, when, yeah. when was the, 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 the first goal? Was the first goal from France? The first yeah, goal was... Oh, yeah, the first goal was from France. Perisic tied it. And then the other goal. Yeah. 
No, no, no. No, it was the other goal. And then the goal from the Perisic. And then a penalty from the bar. Then Mbappe, then no. No, when was it? When was the free kick? scored the last or the third? Pogba scored the third goal. Yeah, so this was the second half. scored the last one. It rebounded off, I think, Vito and stuff, and then he and hits then, it with the other foot. And then passed Vito, and then they just they caught all of them off they guard. They just caught him off guard. And then Mansuk yeah. did that goal. From no. Yoris's error. Oh, my God. What are you guessing about no, that? No, the Mbappe goal came after the Pokemon goal. Yeah. It was 4-1, and then the, yeah, and then the, the Yoris thing. That mistake. That oh, game. my God. That's so, really, it was a final with a lot of stupid mistakes, especially for Croatia. Which but nobody's talking about it because they won the World Cup. So, he got yeah, forgiven. Because he lost the yeah. World Cup because of that goal. Oh, my God. Also, I definitely gave it more inspiration to Croatia after that goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they yeah, kept, they kept coming, back. coming back, dude, but it was too late. Well, it was a pretty exciting half game, though. Yeah, it was a good game. I mean, a lot of goals. Don't let the scoreline fool you. It was very exciting. Because mm -hmm. Croatia kept on coming. They, they didn't just give up. They kept on trying. I mean, you got to hand it to Croatia. I mean, yeah. they walked into this game knowing they're underdogs. I, I think they had world-class players, but, you know, they're beaten better three extra yeah. time games in a row. Yeah. I, I think we need to give it to Croatia, honestly. I don't know. I I never expected them in a million years to get that. I mean, they they had a team. We all know that they have great players. Yeah, players. But to realistically make it to a yeah. final, I mean, I mean... You're talking about a team who crashed out in the group stage four years ago. Yeah. And then they didn't even qualify for 2010. Yeah. They already made history even just being in the final. Definitely. That's right. what I feel. Well, so I feel I, like when well, they... They, they, made, they made history making it to semifinals. Because that was the second time. But yeah, definitely. Second. Yeah. So that was already a big thing. But beating England and making it to the, to the final, yeah, that's the first time. Like, they, 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 England they, didn't win it. They made it to the semifinal before, though. So right, making yeah. it to the final is just putting it's the... Thing it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like very, overcoming that. Yeah. Very scary yeah. thing is seeing an underdog in the final. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Who knows how long it's been since you've seen yeah. that. Yeah, it was... It's always been the fan favorites or people you expect to make it there. But this year we had Croatia. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the yeah. world. They ended up being the people. I mean, champions. they're crazy now. They're part of, in some way, part of the big, the big dogs. You know, the big teams. You know, in a way that they are now, hopefully, they can be recognized. They now. can be recognized. You know, at, yeah. least, at least, even if maybe they might, they might get the final. You know, again, in a, in a long time, in a lifetime, maybe who knows? It's but, hard not to feel bad for Croatia yeah. and have some sentiment because it's like, um, even though they probably realistically knew themselves that they weren't gonna win the final. Mm -hmm. I mean, they gave it a shot, yeah. and honestly, I do feel like they played better. Yeah. During those nights. Yeah, it, it, it's it's hard because you know you they were doing some such nice plays, and they were like pressing, and you know, having shots. Yeah, the most possession, the yeah. most shots. Um, I think they created the most opportunities. Yeah. But I think when France, I mean, scored, they were more clinical. Yeah, exactly, right? and and. And the, they made silly the, less silly the thing mistakes. Is with France, that they have. You can tell they have more cl clinical strikers, you know, and that's what Croatia lacked a little bit in. But and they showed on counters there deadly. I mean, the French they can kill you. They're younger, they're faster. Yeah, I mean, yeah, much more deadly than me and Bobby And they weren't all worn Spanish. out playing extra time games and all that. Yeah, Croatia came from like a very tired, dude. Tired, a tiring. You know, they look at they were tired. Like, like, like most of their players are already in their you know their peak years. Yeah. Right, and then sometimes those Vietnamese didn't even want them much. Yeah. You know, the French is what the youngest team to win the World Cup. One of the youngest teams, I would yeah. say so. Yeah, I think they were like mm -hmm. one, second, third, one of the youngest. I think the youngest was Nigeria. Team. Yeah, England too. I think and England, England and, too. France. and France. I think they were the to win the World Cup though. Oh no, no, not no, not no, no, not to win the World Cup. I'm probably I'm not sure about that. I think that I'm sure they were one of the Who? youngest teams to ever win the World Cup. Who? The like France team. Yeah, they're one of the youngest ones. I think, or like I feel like they are third or something. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they are. I read that though. somewhere, but um, yeah, it was a very exciting uh, final. Um, Having said that, though, I think it was an enter like you said, it was for me personally one of the most entertaining finals I've seen. Yeah, maybe in my lifetime because I don't remember this many goals. Yeah, in a final, six yeah. goals, four two. Yeah, right. The yeah, ones yeah. I've seen have mostly either been really close or just mm -hmm. goal. One goal, penalties, extra time, right. which is kind of been common. So I like that both teams went for it when they wanted to. Yeah. Um, but he, uh, again, man, I really do feel bad for Croatia. They played better. France probably deserved it. They're going to get all the headlines. And, but yeah, it, it's funny, right? When they lost, they didn't take the loss as bad as I thought they did. 
Because that's Croatia. 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 Because to them, I think already because they already, already a victory. Yeah. Because it's yeah. not like a big team. Yeah, if it's like a uh, Brazil, like a Brazil, Brazil or Oh or yeah. To them it's a disaster. They yeah. cry, bro. They're yeah. Big. They be yeah. with us drinking wine. I think yeah. Croatia. <laughs> they, they knew. Yeah. I mean, they became heroes the second they got into the final. Yeah. So yeah. for them, anything else is extra in a way. Yeah. Because yeah. it's the first time they're not experienced. Yeah. And, and you can see that in how they were celebrating Croatia. They they got welcomed like they won the World Cup. Right, and that's pretty amazing. They were still celebrating Croatia having lost the World Cup in the streets of Croatia. Yeah, I saw people yeah. celebrating in Croatia like they won it and they had just lost the final. Exactly, dude. And that, I think that's great. They I got, think, they I got think that's even awesome. the president took it in, in, in good stride. Yeah, 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 yeah congratulating yeah. the players. Well, I mean, to make it to World Cup final is not yeah. something to take lightly. You know, like dude, so, the two best teams in the world are Croatia and France. You know, yeah. I mean, one of the others is gonna win. But bro, you're like right into that. That's, yeah. that's what, no matter good, what, what excuses like, are people are gonna say about Croatia. Uh, this is this, but you gotta win the games. Mm -hmm. You gotta look what's in front of you. Right. Who cares? And Croatia did that. They were the most more tired team out of all the other teams that they played coming into this World Cup. I mean, yeah. in the knockout stages, and yeah. they made it. Yeah, I guess I'm happy for France winning. You know, it's good for them. It's a good story. But we all know it would have been a way bigger story. If Croatia Croatia would have won. Yeah. It would have been amazing. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. that would have made this already memorable World Cup even even, even better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still memorable, and I think just even them, you know, making a second place, they're heroes, they're yeah. legends. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. Well, those guys are already cemented. This, this World themselves. Cup, I think, broke a lot of um, like cliches. I think you know. Oh like, yeah. I mean, Germany got casa. went home. Fuera. You know. Lost to Mexico, lost to South Korea. Nobody would have expected that. Yeah. Brazil got knocked out. Argentina got knocked out. This is Messi's year. Messi's World Cup. Messi's World Cup went home. Uh, Russia made it far. Messi you know? and Ronaldo both out in the first knockout. At the, the, same, knockouts. the same day. Yeah. Messi and Ronaldo. Uh, Spain out by Russia. Russia making as far as the Spain, quarters. Spain, yeah. you know, world champions back to back, you know, Euro, world, I mean, Indians crazy. run to the semis. Yeah. yeah. Italy didn't make it. Chile didn't make it. Chile didn't make it. Yeah, all these all these big yeah. teams that you're like, oh, they're gonna make it. No, 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 no. The Croatia ended up. Belgium did well with their golden yeah. generation. Shout out to Belgium at third place. Belgium, yeah, two. Yeah. Third so place. I I think we're all. Yeah. I, what? First ever third place ever. This is their best Belgium. finish. Best finish. Oh yeah. yeah. And every, if Belgium would have probably made it to the final, maybe they would have won. We'll, we'll never know. Mm -hmm. But you know, it would have been nice to get a new right. champion, but. It, Maybe someday, it, I mean... The, the, can, I, can I say something? Yeah. I, I, I don't have anything against France. I actually like them quite a lot. Right, a right, lot right. of their players, but... I am tired of European teams winning it. Yeah, I'm tired of it being the same teams winning it. I've already seen France. I've already seen Germany. I've seen yeah. Brazil plenty of times. Yeah. Italy. You want to see a new team? Yeah. yeah I want to see a South American team, bro. 2010. These last three World Cups have been oh, European okay. teams. I am tired, bro. It's yeah. been too much... Europe. Well, here's yeah. the thing, man. Europe right now is in Europe. Last Argentina four, is because... going to no win. <laughs> Italy, Germany, Italy, Spain, Germany, and now last four. Nice for to. I mean, I, America, a new champion America. would have been really cool. Just America, anywhere. At the very least, a new champion would have been cool. Croatia would have won it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was nice to finally see a new country in the yeah, final. Yeah, Croatia yeah, not one of the usuals. It was this time it's Croatia. Well, you know what? Maybe I mean I don't know, but seen I think the whole world seen. A team like Croatia made it to the final. Maybe they're inspired, you know, like new. Yeah. I feel like it will. Teams that I like think. teams like Belgium, you know that you know are like. So they the had to go a good chunk of world class players in the Arsenal. I mean, you got look at Molde, the Rakitic. Yeah, yeah. Subasic, Perisic, Mandzukic. Yeah. Molde too, by the way, won. That's how they go. The golden ball. Yeah. I I don't think anyone else deserves the point. <clears throat> You could probably debate other Hazard players, maybe. but Hazard. I would say Hazard. Hazard. Hazard, Hazard I think maybe. it was between Hazard and Modric. I think because Hazard. Really, really was like if you would have made it to the final, Hazard like, Master would have taken it. Yeah, Lastly, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, Modric, but Modric was I think it was just as but Modric because he made it to the final. Modric like he all, all the other. He places. took them all the way down. Yeah, they yeah. played yeah. their hearts out, man. Yeah, yeah. Modric just yeah, he, he didn't get tired. Like I didn't see him tired once. Like it's crazy. Running and shit like back and back. He was keep making runs. I saw. I remember some of the game against. I don't know if it was Russia or England and extra time. I saw him make one bad pass. It was the first time I saw that all tournament. He was able to have enough energy, like after like almost 120 minutes to run back, slide tackle it, bounce it off the England player, and give yeah. the possession back to Croatia. Yeah. Like, he's really the heart of that that team. He gives everything, and it's yeah. just amazing to 
that people are it, finally, it, you know, it, giving it, him It's value. ironic that yeah. it was the same thing kind of like with, like, it's funny how, like, the best player award is for the team that hasn't yeah, been winning. Yeah, it's been recently. It's been recent. like that yeah. since, what, 1998? Yeah. It's like, it, it shows you that it needs to be a team effort. Team yeah, it needs yeah. to be all, uh, all the way. And like you were saying, I think France had that. If, if Hazard would have went to the final, he probably would have won the gold. Yeah, right. Win or, or lose. Yeah. I, yeah. I like those two players. Those are two number 10s yeah. that show that, you know, you, you give your heart, Yeah. get up, play. Because, not, like, not like Neymar, bro. Like, these are the type of nah, fucking Neymar players I want. <laughs> you blew one of the candles. Oh, shit. Butler. Any, any wishes? Butler, Butler. Let me call it Butler. Any wishes that uh, Neymar doesn't join Dan Madrid? <laughs> <laughs> um, That's another episode. I join with that. But yeah, I was going to say, uh, in France, could you say there's one player that really like took them to the final like great like Modric kind of I mean, it was a team effort it was a team effort I mean a lot of the highlights went to Mbappe just for his youth and his place I don't think Mbappe was a one for he wasn't like a one man team it's not like Messi was for Argentina you know it, I, mean, I mean Griezmann had pretty great solid performances with yeah. his team they, they definitely stepped but up but it team seems to me like else. it was all a collective team effort like very yeah. equal you know yeah Yeah. also you know in Croatia too because they all pulled through very hard you know Yeah. but you can see Modric was like the untiring one, he would keep like pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. You know, France. It's more... the little things he did, like keeping the ball at the right place at the right time, mm-hmm. being at the right place at the right time, knowing when to pass the ball or when to pass back. Like decision making, yeah. something that I think it's a value that we should value, that we should you know Definitely consider. We don't think about it much. We think about scoring, but yeah, he didn't really score much. But you know, he was like the brains. Yep. Yeah. Croatia. I think that's a good way of putting it. Part of the Croatian midfield. Yeah. Part of the team. Captain. And already. Whether he didn't win the World Cup, those eleven are legends. Oh yeah, they're legends. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're the best thing Croatia has Definitely. Yeah. ever come out. And, and hopefully, it's not the last we see of Croatia. Maybe yeah. you know, could run the Euro. Yeah, I mean the Euro. Hey, you're right. Maybe yeah. the Euro, they could pull uh, something. That would be amazing. And even if it's the last time we see them, it was a good way of going. Yeah, because it was. Good. It was. A, they gave us. No. So many memories, and they they gave a hell of a run. Definitely the greatest greatest one song for yeah. a lot of these players. One of the best runs of a World Cup team that's not even, that I've ever seen that's a team that you wouldn't even think about that would win the championship. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Croatia, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, they, they, nobody expects, uh, nobody... That's like a World I Cup finalist you. that nobody... Dude, I thought maybe coming. Spain, Germany. The usual Germany was, all, was my Brazil. favorite uh, to win. Um, yeah. Brazil, Brazil, Germany, Brazil, Brazil Germany, Germany, I thought that was going to be the final. Belgium. Maybe, maybe yeah, Belgium. Um, I mean, those were like, you know, the typical, Spain, France, Spain. you know, France too, you but like Croatia, be one of my teams. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect that, um, and you know what, much respect to them, but let's finish this episode talking a little bit more about France, which are yeah. our current world champions, and what can we see? Makers of the best wine in the world. Uh, yeah. As you can see, uh, I'm quite enjoying this. Um, I think France, honestly, I didn't expect France to win the World Cup when starting. <coughs> I know they had a great team, but like, you know what? This is a really young team. I I didn't think they were like, oh, they're going away. <laughs> they fucking, they yeah, proved away, bro, you know? Uh, I would think he made for next next World Cup, but no, man, they, um... I thought they, they were really... capable. The thing that I always held against them is losing that Euro. And I thought, yeah. when they got to that final, that's what I was thinking, too. It would affect them. How much would that affect them? Would that make yeah. them, like, have, like, the effect with Argentina? Yeah. yeah. Would that actually make, not make them... Play as good as they, they yeah, can. I, they can exactly. And you know what? They didn't play well, but they, but they won. Through. Exactly. And in the end, if you don't play well, but you get the result done. Well, if you don't play well, but you know how to to manage it, to manage the game. If you keep you know like you avoid the the, the handballs. You right. avoid the 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 hand the the, 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 the other goals. Things like that that really affect the game, and you're clever about it. Yeah, you you can come up with the between France and Croatia. Like this French team wasn't really tactically or aesthetic. Beautifully, they didn't play like you know, like Spain twenty ten. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Like, Honestly, I would tactics. think even Croatia like, had some that, better players. That's what Croatia. Croatia had the tactics. They had the world class players. Yeah. The French just had the youth and the talent. Yeah. But see, when I say speed, yeah. speed, yeah. speed, speed. Yeah, I think Croatia played more beautifully. Yeah, yeah. Croatia yeah. definitely yeah. had better tactics, yeah. but overall, but the French kind of wanted more on individual and talented characters. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. And then Olo Kante. I mean, these guys are phenomenal players for yeah. clubs, and they bring it to the country. Now, when I say that they didn't play well. It's not. I'm not saying that he played horribly. Yeah, no, no, no. 
But I'm saying that they didn't play as well as I thought. Not like a showy type. Because I know how France can play. Yeah. And I feel like they could have played that way if they wanted to. But I think they decided to give the ball to Croatia and be like, let's see how you can hurt us. Because mm -hmm. we trust in our defense more than you. And like, mm -hmm. and I, we believe in our counters. Like, I think they were more strategic in that. Yeah, I think the Champions Because yeah, I've seen game pretty well. parts of a lot of the games in France leading up to it where when they want to, they, they can outplay anybody, but they just uh, they felt like they didn't need to or they didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to my point. They played... They didn't have one good game that I can say, man, they played... They completely outplayed you and they won the World Cup. So when they actually put the it's, right balance together right. and played well in four years from now... like Because we yeah. didn't see the best friends and they won. So what I'm saying, like, yeah. once yeah. they get to that level... That's pretty scary. Right? Imagine how scary it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, well, all these players are really young. They're not you, know they're all, they're, you know they're going to be back. Yeah. You know they're going to be back. The whole so. entire squad, man. Yeah. yeah. 75, most of the team are players that are like in their mid or like, or their yeah. like early 20s. Yeah. And Mbappé is 19 years old, mm -hmm. right? And he won the World Cup. Oh, he could at 19, I, uh, what were we doing at 19? The, it, this I kid is... Uh, watching the last World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watching 2010? Um, yeah. I mean, I think there's a great future. Eating French bread still. and drinking yeah, wine like Bappe, right now. He still has four more World Cups under his belt. And Bappe can't even buy right. freaking alcohol here. Can't even gamble. gamble. Yeah, and he already won a World Cup. Yeah, exactly. And he scored. And he, and he played, final, played well. Which is a big thing. Um, and the second know, teenager to ever score in a World Cup final? That's a big thing. Um, Behind Bele. So you have to give it to them. I, you have to give it to the whole team. Me and Giroud. Man, Giroud fucking is a World Cup champion. I can't say shit. <laughs> that's, what, that's how you know... It, it shows you it's a team effort, you know, and uh, it's a teammate. Yeah, it's not individual. You know, and even though Jordan didn't, I mean, he didn't had make the, the goal, he didn't score a goal. I mean, he played his part. Yeah, he he drew in players and he and he created chances and. Problems. I mean, yeah, you won the World Cup. No one's gonna say shit about you. If they lost, I mean, we all would be shitting on yeah, Jordan, right? Yeah, yeah, all of us. But, mm, but look, look at him, Ronaldo. Huh? It's sad, bro. We're in a world where Messi and Ronaldo probably will not win the World Cup. But Giroud will. <laughs> I know, dude. It's sad, bro. Horrible, it's a, horrible. But you know what? <laughs> but you know what? Sadly, but Giroud, yeah. Giroud has a better team than Ronaldo and Messi. There you go. And that it's is a team. It's 11 out of 11. Not 1 out of 11. No. It's not 1 out of 11. It's a team effort, guys. It's a team effort. Team effort. Mm -hmm. Team effort. That's a team effort. It's the only way. Well, any last thoughts on France, on the World Cup champions, our new... Oh, you can't touch it. You can't touch it. You need to win it. This is actually the real one. It's the real one, guys. Yeah. Um, we told them, hey, give them a fake one. Bring it, bring it here to Depco Studios. Let me borrow it. Let me borrow it. Yeah, right. bring it to Depco Studios. How do you think Benzema feels? Or Martial. Or oh, Martial. Or, or the guy from Croatia, the dumbass that oh, he wants to get some cheers. He's going to hook up, yeah. Spendable. He's probably the only Croatian that actually didn't want Croatia to win. You didn't get the I know. <laughs> but you know what? They're legends. And he's, and he's not. not, so... He's not with him on the bus celebrating with the people. He's a legendary douchebag that yeah, fucking that's what he is. <laughs> got kicked right? out of him. Yeah. We won't get remembered for the right reasons. Yeah, um, that's right. I would have stayed in that bench the whole World Cup. I don't care. If you asked me to go in for one minute, I would play that one minute. With those three extra time games, there was a good shot he would have been play in those yeah. games. Probably could have scored. Yeah, Probably would have started. They, they would have needed him then. But yeah. Maybe he could have been the guy that could have helped Croatia win the final, but who knows? Maybe, who knows? You we'll never know. He thought we'll he was better than know. anybody else, and now we got nothing. I said we I said we toast for the biggest numbers of the World Cup. <laughs> well, not, but okay. <laughs> Fuck it. You fucked up, man. Mm. My last. Sip. Now we have to do a toast for uh, for world champions. Okay. And then we will conclude the episode. Yeah. Okay. Can we can we go? Oh man, we drank all the great French wine. We'll have another bottle. We would have had more wine, but tiny uh, little. I'm good. I'm good. Our waiter decided to drink half of it. Yeah. As you guys how long you guys? Yeah. Oh, me too, man. Me too. Well, guys. To another World Cup, and to the champion of the world, France. France. Champion of the world. Congratulations. Congratulations, France. France. Until the next one. AKA Africa FC. Who says African team? On that note, <laughs> we're going to leave it here, guys. Thank you for following us. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, I'm Mitch Fan. Jerry. I'm Jose. Eduardo. And we'll catch you guys in the next next. I'm already fucking drunk off on cup. Yeah. In the next one. Some good wine, I'm telling cups. you. <laughs> Exquisite taste. Ho ho ho.
bueno, la final, ¿cuándo va a estar con nosotros? ¿A la selección mexicana? ¿A Nico o a Nico? Por lo menos. Eso es que hay que hacer. 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 Eso es ¿Por qué? 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 You know what would have been funny if we all had each a glass of wine drinking out of that. But agree. you probably don't have one now. I agree. I do. Do you have one as well? Do you? I don't know if you want to save this wine though, because I don't know. How long is the Argentina one's over?